as well as it's just it's the hitbox that it is huge it just gets so far in your way and um when it comes to someone like velma velma is a probably a hard tougher cookie to crack there's just too much good support and i think the problem i think the what it would be end up being is that the change you would want to do is make it not so good that you don't use any other support character Oh, and almost. D3 really, really wanted to get that up special there to kind of close out the stock. I don't think it would have worked. I feel like that grab ends up being extremely weak in those low percents. Um, but it, you might as well try. Oh, and oh, great catch the there. Trouble. This is a stock. That is a really good start here for D3 and Ponix. You got me fair and square. And right well, now they're racking up good damage onto Velma here, but does have weakened at the moment. You have to be careful because that could be the stock, and there it is. That hammer is so devastating. The hitbox weakened on top of it. it. Yeah, it can, that was pretty devastating. And right now, this Velma is getting so much percent on the Superman in his second stock. And just healing here oh. already at 70 percent, and able to close out the other stock, giving them quite the lead here. Able to get a lot of value from that interaction there, but unfortunately, it looks like they're kind of turning the tables. So watch out for that rocket. Oh. Good grab there to take out the stock once again. Um, able to even up in terms of stock, still has the percent deficit right now, and you don't want to get hit by that uh, top part right now. I think that probably the best way to really deal with that is to have your opponent deal with it, because the opponent can just destroy the car without uh, any issue, but it's definitely difficult to do that when you're being contested by, by your opponent. Right now they're trying to chase down uh, Cowfish here on that on such a high percent, but it, uh, it's hard to get Velma. It's, she's really elusive. And oh, and that up there might be able to do it. D3 able to get out there unscathed, luckily. Able to get that punch in, not enough to take out Velma just yet. Oh my wow. goodness, the upper will do it. And right now, you gotta be real careful here at 91%. Playing an assassin, which is a character that will die pretty early here. Oh, you gotta be real careful, and that's gonna be it. That's gonna be game one in Cowfish and Limitless's favor. But G3 and uh, Ponix doing a really good job there in game one, especially with how the uh, last set went. So hopefully they'll be able to uh, improve here in the next game here. And it looks like they're just going for the uh, run back. Uh, it's my favorite motion to do in, uh, when they do tournaments, just uh, wagging the finger in a circle. Run it back. <laughs> I want back. Get me back in. I think um, the biggest problem there was just not catching Velma, which again is an easier said than done kind of thing, but at the end of the day that is what you have to do. You are fighting against a undeniable top one character and uh it's just I, in she's my fast, eyes, man. She's really fast and has a lot yeah. of tools to get away from you and that's obviously what uh you can see happening where Velma is just getting away with a whole bunch because you're not able to touch her. Don't flip. And her weight may have gotten nerfed, but still, she's not the lightest character in this game. She, she is still heavier than Batman. I'll just say that. <laughs> yeah, it, that's that's still pretty whack. Oh no, he's getting oh, bugs no. combo for oh, a ton of no. percent. Right? We can top it into the, in the stock. This is why these characters are just so gosh darn powerful. That is such a rough start to your game. One stock down in G3 already at a super high percent, but not even, barely anything built up on the other two. Oh, and getting that weakened right now there at 36%, it's not too bad right now. D3 doing a good job trying to edge guard there, was oh. able to secure the stock, but died right afterwards. Yeah, the Velma down air is, that's just a good down air. Just, yeah. Those active ones are really hurting when they hit. And, uh, um, I don't know. Oh, it, Limitless it is... getting the combo there for a little bit, really trying to just rack up that extra damage, giving him quite a bit of lead. Gotta watch out for that police car. You call it on Superman, watch out. Uh, hopefully, uh, Finn will be able to deal with it. Ho oh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Oh, G3 able to match out of it, but you're oh, gonna get hit. Rocket. The rocket still live, though. It looks like they canceled out the uh, knockback a bit there. 
still alive. Got launched way all the way across. So but you don't want to be stuck through. there. Oh my uh, goodness. On top of really that, the low. megaphone could have done it. No. Oh, great catch there. That's going to be a stock. Great moves there from G3. But right now, Finn really needs to hold on to that percent. And being at pretty low percent here, Velma at 59. Oh, that's, that's a good chance. But yeah, the down there is going to do it for game two. We're going to be going into game three here. But. Right now, Limitless and Cowfish on the winner side. Um, Ponix and G3 would have to get the reset for this to continue, which is looking really grim. Just look at that damage output, 300, 200. Um, and right now, yeah, Finn and Superman just really struggling to uh, really meet the match, man. That game was honestly decided by just the... <laughs> just that beginning of the game, that them just sit dunking on them super hard and getting like i like both of them at 100 one was the Finn just ended up dying and superman was not far behind it was that was just a horrible horrible position to start your game with yeah finn here being really for that damage in order to kind of support g3 in securing some of these kills uh g3 being the real x factor of that team at the moment um in terms of uh, cowfish and uh limitless uh i feel like b both of them kind of understand their characters and really um you know playing them as optimally as possible um you could just see with uh bugs able to get those really long combos and already yeah. starting off with some projectiles don't get hit by the rocket oh, oh my goodness yeah and another thing about velma's excellent tools is those thought bubbles putting it on your partner is also just an amazing way to just get people away from from your partner when they're in trouble it's a it's a projectile you just don't want to get hit by and it just ends up surrounding your ally and it can be very uh annoying <laughs> i'll say yeah, and getting that great health definitely helps out a bit too here right now it looks like uh Blue team having a bit of the percent lead here. Oh my goodness. And right now he's getting near to down air combo. To, was able to get out of there, but at 106%, that's quite a bit of percent to be racking up there. Are we able to catch with the near there? Oh my goodness. But getting sent off by the vault, oh. but the megaphone will do it. And 120%, like they're not even there in terms of percent blue team is just getting a lot of health a lot of free value did call the police there you got to be real careful try to give the police the megaphone buff which is a thing weirdly enough oh that's got to be a stock not quite there at 155 g3 really holding on to that stock but that ball almost doing it really just hovering there on the top of the stage any good move would probably do it but great g3 almost oh no but the that's so unfortunate. The rocket just helping out right there and uh, saving uh, Cowfish there. Limitless uh, may have not been the intention, but that's the that's the one where you go like that was completely intentional to save my team. Okay. And we're able to grab me into the bag, and that will do it. They could even this up here in terms of stocks if they're able to get Limitless oh right, my right now. Oh my god looking real difficult there yeah you gotta watch out for that megaphone they're just putting up a wall of projectiles kind of forcing different options good use of the prospect to interrupt the rocket though oh and there goes finn though that's gonna be a bit of the lead there and it looks like limitless just getting more and more value there but was sent off you gotta watch out for that rocket okay this could be the tournament stock this could be it g3 at that high percent off stage Oh my god, he really wanted to get a stock, and it ended up costing him with the up air. And that is game three, I believe. Limitless and Cowfish taking grand finals over Phoenix and G3. But excellent performance from both players. But, you know, Bugs and Velma. Yeah. Nothing needs to be said.